update. I have started updating the names of my videos, starting with the introductory video as episode zero, which I will include in the link below, along with going up to episode five so far. And I will continue to update the names of my videos, the titles of my videos, I should say. So let's talk a bit about the butterfly effect and the nature of time. Although certain practices and traditions work better for certain people, that's not to say that any one practice that anyone does is a practice unto itself, just like how even a part-time job requires at least a somewhat healthy and able body to perform the tasks, which require food, sleep, hygiene, etc. Any and all practices that we do is a part of our lives. And as we are all part of the same life, are we not also all part of the same universe? As above, so below. There are no degrees of separation. The law of polarity, so on and so forth. Let's see. For those of you that practice painful magic or magic to influence the free will of others, there's a reason why such practices come with a warning for all you dark magicians out there. And I don't want to use the term dark magician anyway, just because of the connotations that it brings up, which is kind of far off from the real meanings of white black magic. So anyways, back to the topic. So you work with a certain system or tradition and you get bad results. Or you have a certain practice for a couple of years, get mediocre results, and then later on you switch to a different practice with a different paradigm, and all of a sudden you hit the jackpot. Life is going really great now. Many of you could be quick to assume that the previous practice is invalid. However, is it not the previous system that led you to the new system that gave way to these results happening in your life? Perhaps if you had not used that previous system, things could have turned out much worse. I myself have had that train of thought in the past. Sure, there are certain paradigms and systems that work better for me than others. I've even had some really low points in my life, and by low, as in straddling the line between life and death. Sure, I can look back and say those were bad times, but I regret the decisions that led me to those points. Instead, I choose to see them as decisions and events that led me to the point where I am today, living a wonderful life full of abundance and also many abundant and pleasurable times shortly after my low points. It's really something to think about. Take care.